Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Zeke the Crypto Miner, and today I'm bringing you a Robert Hood update video along with some cryptocurrency news dealing with Bitcoin. All right. So, if we take a look at my account today, uh, pre market hours, I was up $33, but now uh, fluctuating throughout the day, I'm down uh, $4.51. For the week, I'm up five dollars month i'm up 45 dollars so we did have a good recovery this week uh, for the last three months i'm up three percent 209 dollars um the past year i'm up uh, 4.1 percent um 273 dollars and all time i'm up 14.8 uh 884 dollars now if we look at my week I had a pretty good week. Uh, I was up at one point. My account finally reached seven thousand dollars. In fact, it was seven thousand two hundred, seven thousand twenty-five dollars and twenty-nine cents. But then it had a little correction, and it's back down to uh six uh eighty-five, six thousand eight hundred and fifty bucks. Hopefully, later on today it could reach, or by Friday it reaches the seven thousand dollar mark again. If we look at my stock, um, AMD is what shot up this week. Bam, this was what got my account to uh, $7,000. It shot up 6%, kind of correct itself now. That was from the E3 uh, gaming conference. Um, Xbox actually announced that they had a new console coming out in, for Christmas during the holidays and that the processor that they're going to use is the AMD processor. So just imagine millions or hundreds of thousands of new Xbox consoles being shipped out with the AMD processor inside of those. So that's going to eventually boost the company profits. That's why I always love AMD, Intel, different other technology companies like that. Um, now, if we take a look at my portfolio, NVIDIA is also a graphics card type company, but um, over the last three months, actually the last three years, after the last year, the stocks has been manipulated by cryptocurrency because everyone's buying the uh, GeForce 1080s to mine cryptocurrencies, which push the price of N NVIDIA graphics cards so high that it was over bought and the price just skyrocketed so now the market has been correcting itself over a year now so i'm going ahead and sell two of these just until um the market corrects itself so that these graphics cards aren't overpriced anymore and then i'll eventually get back into nvidia once i see a sign of recovery so i'm gonna put in a trade and sell two of these and then i'm going to buy some dividend stock type uh investments in, in fact i'm going to do it right now so that was nvidia that i just sold to share and i'm going to buy sphd it is a power share sp500 high dividend low volume type of um stock and it pays out monthly with a dividend yield of 4.71 percent so i'm going ahead and buy that and hit buy i want to buy eight nope seven i'm gonna buy seven of these review swipe up so as you can see um you guys just see me sell nvidia two shares of those and buy uh some shares of sphd so it's that easy to buy and sell shares on Robinhood, if you guys want to give it a try, the link down will be down in the description. If you sign up using that link, you will get a free stock anywhere from a low stock that's around three to five dollars. And sometimes I've seen people get Apple stock by using that link, and that's like a two hundred dollar stock. So if you sign up using the link, just go ahead down to the uh, the comment section on this video and drop down what share, what stock did you receive from signing up using that link? Okay. So let's go back. So we bought uh, another high dividend stock right there, SPHD. I now have 10 shares. And here's Intel. I like Intel. It gives me AMD. If I have a corner on AMD and Intel, then I pretty much have a corner on the two biggest CPU companies in the world, in the nation for sure. And 
I have V O O A N G C. Now A A G N C is a company I've been interested in. It has a very high dividend yield of twelve point three one percent on the year, but looking at the weekly, looking at the monthly, the three month in the year, in the five years, A N G C. I mean A G N C has been on the decline. Let's get that out the way. AGNC has been on the decline. Okay, it, it it's just been it's been showing signs of a downtrend, and that's why I bought SPHD because it shows signs of an uptrend. Downtrend means that it just shows that it's going down in over the past five years. It has a decline of twenty nine percent. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for AGNC. If you want to get in now, it might be a good time to get it at a cheap price while no one's really talking about it, but it could still downtrend. But if you get in now, then you will have the most profit, margin of profit that you can. But I'ma be patient and wait for this next uh, earnings to come out. This next earning is um, 724. So in about another two months, I will see how those earnings go. If it goes up, I'ma get in, I'ma buy on the uptrend. I'm not trying to buy it at the very bottom. and be risky with my money okay uh if we take a look at waste management i like waste management uh as i talked in my last video is up 158 percent over the last five years and its dividends is 2.09 percent now to the cryptocurrency news that i was talking about let's go ahead and type in bitcoin bitcoin btc all right, Bitcoin is at $8,175, $76, it just went up. Uh, if we look at the one month, three month, one year, and five year, you see the pattern, okay? You guys see the pattern? It goes, well, you really can't zoom in that far. Uh, the charts on Robinhood is not as, act, it's not as detailed as the charts that I analyze myself, but, um, the charts, the monthly moving average has finally crossed on the MACD for the monthly on Bitcoin. That means the last time that it did that, it showed a sign of a buy. It went from $400 to $20,000 over a three year span. The last time the monthly MACD has crossed. Now the monthly MACD has just crossed and it's at $8,170, what could Bitcoin go to? The last time, once again, the last time the monthly indicators crossed on the MACD for the monthly, the price went from $400 to $20,000. The MACD just crossed on the monthly today, and the price of Bitcoin is $8,174, $75, what can the price of Bitcoin go to? I'm not sure, um, but I buy a little bit of Bitcoin here and there, $200 a month, maybe, maybe, maybe $200, $300 a month of Bitcoin. Um, just to, just to, just to try to accumulate as much Bitcoin as I can, no matter what the price is, hoping that five years down the line, I could sell one or two bitcoins and buy me a house, <laughs> buy me some real estate land, okay? Um, but yeah, even on Robinhood, you could buy and sell cryptocurrency. You could buy Bitcoin, Litecoin, and different types of cryptocurrency. Those are the big ones, Ethereum. So yeah, guys, um, comment down in the section about what you think, what are you gonna do with the, uh, with the news that the monthly MACD has just crossed on Bitcoin, are you gonna buy some? Are you gonna sell it when it gets to nine thousand again? It's over nine thousand. <laughs> Everyone knows that meme right there. It's the uh, Dragon Ball meme. His power skill is over nine thousand. They do that every time Bitcoin price goes over nine thousand dollars. So, um, are you gonna wait till it gets to nine thousand dollars to show that it confirmed that the uh, all your signals? are accurate that the MACD cross and it confirmed that it's an uptrend, a healthy uptrend, not a bull run. But yeah, um, it might be, I'm going to wait until after the halvening happens. Uh, I talked about the halving, halvening in one of my other videos, if you guys want to check that out. Mm, so I'm going to wait until then to invest over 
maybe a thousand dollars a month into Bitcoin. Right now, I'm only doing about two hundred dollars a month into Bitcoin. But yeah, guys. Other than that, uh, this is your cryptocurrency news for the week. The monthly has crossed. Um, you guys just see me buy, sell, and trade some um, some stocks just using the app on my phone. If you guys want to try out the app, once again, the link is down in the description. Please comment down what did you receive from using that link. Um, hopefully, I'm still waiting for somebody to get an Apple, get an Apple stock, and I'm still trying to get my own Apple stock myself. But yeah, other than that, this is your boy Zeke the Crypto Miner.